what's going on guys in this video i'm going to show you guys my updated hair routine i always do this routine if i'm not reviewing a new product or if i'm not styling my hair in a specific way so if you're wondering what products do you normally use on your hair razor let's sip some wine because uh, let's go the first thing I do is spritz my hair with my leave-in conditioner, which is going to be in a bottle that you're going to see. It has an aloe vera juice and my leave-in conditioner mix from Natural Oasis. I'm just going to spray that on my hair. This adds so much hydration in my hair. It makes my hair so soft and moisturized. Next, I'm going to moisturize my hair. I can never skip this step. If you skip this step, what are you doing? What are you doing, mama? If you're not new to this channel, you would already know what my favorite moisturizer is and what I usually use to moisturize my hair for my wash and goes or curly hairstyle. This keeps my hair moisturized for days, even a week if I do the necessary precautions to tie my hair up at night and preserve my hair. This is very thick and concentrated, so a little goes a long way. Sometimes I do get a bit heavy handed with this product. The next step is to use a gel. Listen okay listen to me but before we get into that little disclaimer my favorite gel to use right now for my wash and goes is the new echo styler balm this doesn't dry my hair out as much as the others previously you guys thought that the crystal clear one was my favorite i still love it but i love this one more i am not your in your hair everyday type of natural i am not your respirate sweet water everyday and oil and condition natural i am not about that life natural okay i want my hair to last and last me a long time i don't want to have to be in my hair every day every hour every minute every tick tock of the clock my routine was generated to fit my lifestyle i also work out a lot and plopping gel on these curls usually the only thing that doesn't cause my hair to break because when i use light products i have to be in my hair every day and usually if i'm in my hair every day that's too much manipulation and for me for my hair growth less manipulation is key i'm going to repeat that less manipulation is key the more you're in your hair the more you're gonna cause breakage and damage wear and tear I strayed away from my routine for a bit and my hair has not been liking it so I'm back onto my routine also to prevent frizz I also smooth my hair down after I detangle with the brush so you're seeing me do a lot of that smoothing motion that you're seeing right there yes that's also key for me to have less frizz as my hair dries I'll be able to break them apart and separate them if you're having problems with frizz you might want to try smoothing the gel or smoothing any products onto your hair and as your hair dries you can separate them this process usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes and I usually repeat this every week or every week and a half so this is what my hair looks like with all the product in it shiny moisturized my hair usually will take a full day to thoroughly dry as my hair dries it will shrink up this is what my hair started to look like as it dried this was a couple hours after i was about to go to bed in these clips in the upcoming clips i'm gonna show you guys how i usually tie my hair down at night especially if my hair is freshly done To tie my hair, I bring all my hair to the front and I usually do a pineapple, <laughs> pineapple without any scrunchies or ponytail holder. I do the pineapple with a scarf and I tie my hair at the back with a ponytail holder to make sure it stays in place and I go to bed. Take the scarf off and you gotta shake it out. Cause the love ain't like the same. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now would be time for me to shape, fluff, separate, dictate, communicate. <laughs> Basically shape my hair to my liking. Do you guys prefer middle parts, side parts? What do you guys like? For me it depends, but I usually just send all my hair to the back and have my hair sticking up like an afro. So I added this new thing into my routine where I'm oiling my scalp. I know you guys would have never seen this coming, but I started doing it. Yes. 
especially in the crown of my head I have to oil there and moisturize and make sure it's massaged I'm gonna do a video on massaging and the benefits of massaging your scalp soon but it has helped me a lot it's making my hair grow back a lot thicker I was on my way to the gym so I opted to put my hair into a high puff I have a video on how I do my actual high puff where it's an actual style for the remainder of the week <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is my hair routine. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye!